Michael and I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a brief opinion slash get your thoughts video related to Apple, iTunes, describe videos and mainstream describe videos and my experiences. But before we get there, let me go ahead and give you a little promo. If you find this video to be useful or a little educational or you're just a little bit curious on how I get paid daily, go ahead and take a look at what we do by visiting my own pay. That's M-Y-O-W-N-P-A-Y dot com. And take a look at the, the brief video that my buddy John recorded and you'll understand exactly how I get paid daily and so do so much others. Now, the other day Mallory and I, my wife and I, went to Walmart and picked up a couple of movies. And one of the questions I asked her was, hey, do those have described video on them? Um, she said, I'm not sure. So we put one of the movies in last night. It was a Blu-ray DVD. It was the Bad Grandpa movie. And we, or I, I went to the bathroom, then I came in, and all of a sudden I heard Describe Video. Those of you who don't know what Describe Video is, it's a way for the blind to enjoy videos like their sighted counterparts. Uh, it, it describes what's going on on the video when there's not dialogue occurring in the actual video, like in the in the soundtrack. So pretty much when music's playing, there's a second voice that comes on and it says, you know, what's what's going on in the scenery of the video. And in the past, a blind individual would have to either order these videos, VHS tapes, from their state library, or or they would have to uh, purchase them separately from their sighted family members or friends videos and have a collection of their own described videos, okay? But nowadays, I'm finding more and more DVDs include described video on them. It's awesome, okay? Two little problems come up here that I'd like to personally see addressed. Number one, my wife, who is sighted, had to set it up so I could be able to listen to it. Some videos are, some DVDs or Blu-rays are user-friendly to wear a blind person can't set them up on their own, okay? But a majority of them aren't. You have to go into the language menu and select describe videos or video description services, or go into the DVD setup menu, okay? Now, the second issue that I run into is this, okay? With the two movies that my wife and I purchased, there was a little card that was included that said, hey, go we'll punch in this little code, which obviously wasn't accessible, but that's a totally different story and a totally different thing. Well, I could bitch about that if I wanted to, but I'm not going to in this video. But it said, go punch this code into your computer, into iTunes or into this website, and you can download this video to your iDevice using iCloud, okay? A lot of blind individuals use iPhones or iPads or iPods or i something, okay? Apple TVs. I decided, well, what if I punch that in and download it to my device? Well, it was just a standard video with English and Spanish. English and Spanish. Oh, yeah, and subtitles. Okay. Now, it's great that it has subtitles. Great that it has English, great that it has Spanish, but why doesn't it have described videos? Now, some of you are like, well, the technology is not there. Apple can't, can't pass that described video through. Yes, they can. Pass it through as a third language. Might make the file a little bit bigger, but does that matter? I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Now, the thing, that I think should be done, and I'd love for people to comment on this video, let me know what you think is, if a video on DVD or Blu-ray offers a digital download, and that video on DVD or Blu-ray has described video included in it, then the described video, I would assume, should be included on the digital download by law as well. Do you agree with that? Because in my opinion, 
Apple is a wonderful company. Like they're they're a great company for accessibility, and and they boast accessibility in the blindness and, and other disability communities. Okay. But for them to eliminate accessibility out of their video, I mean, I look at it this way, okay? I could have said, well, honey, let's watch this on the iPad. Let's connect the iPad to the computer or to the TV and watch it on the iPad. And I could have set up the uh, described videos on my own by selecting the language, oh, English, Spanish, or video with description. Okay. Now, let me tell you something, because someone's going to say, Michael, they do have some described videos on iTunes. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, the movie Up is described. Um, Finding Nemo has a described edition. Uh, I think it's Cars 2 has a described edition. Okay. Now, these videos are in iTunes under, for example, Up for blind viewers with described video. It is not the up movie with described as an option. So, say I purchased up for my son Nicholas and he watched it and then I'm like, well, hey, I'd love to see that movie. I could go back to iTunes and find the up movie and pay an additional $10 to buy the described version. Seems a little ridiculous to me. What are your thoughts? Should Apple include a described track on all of the described videos that are described on DVD? I think they should. It's the day and age that, well, Apple, why not? If you found this video to be useful or at least a little bit educational, go ahead and take a look at what we do and how we get paid daily at myownpay.com. Leave your comments in the comments below.